hello today i'll teach you how to find if two strings are anagram so let me first explain what anagram is so let's say we have a string called listen and we have one more string called silent we can notice that whatever characters we have used in this word is only used in this one so you can see there is one l so we have one l over here we have i we have i we have s s t t e and n e and n so we can see that every character in this has appeared in s2 also and every character must appear only as many times as it has appeared in string 1 so let's say l has appeared once here l should appear only once over here there shouldn't be two l in that case we won't call these two as anagram so let's take one more example let's say we have one more string which says s i l f e z some string we can notice that s1 and s3 are not anagram because s3 has some characters some characters which is not present in s1 one therefore these two are not anagram now let me explain the logic how to solve this this is very easy actually all we have to do is we have to if we have two strings say s1 and s2 all we have to do is we have to sort this if we sort this in ascending order this will look something like this s1 after sort will look like this first it will be e then i then l then comes n s t so after sorting s1 it will look like this and if we sort s2 it will look something like this e i l n s and t after sorting both the strings if we compare s1 and s2 we can see that these are basically same so that is the logic to find if two strings are anagram or not if we have say one more string called s3 as anagram if we sort this it will look something like this so after sorting this it will look something like this now if you compare s3 with s1 you can see that this string after sorting and this string which we received after sorting s1 are not same hence they are not anagram so the logic is very simple we will take the string we will sort it we will compare both the sorted values if they are same they are anagram if they are not same they are not anagram so before writing the program for this let me tell you one more simple logic that is to compare the length of both the strings now you can see that listen this string s1 has 1 2 3 4 5 6 it has six characters or the length is six okay now if you see s3 the length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the length is 7 if length of the two strings which we are comparing are not same it cannot be anagram as you know that every character must appear same number of times in both the string so if there is more characters or less character in one string are com as compared to the other string then they cannot be anagram that's a simple logic so now let's 
write the program for this so now we have two strings so in this program i am going to use inbuilt sorting method which is present in arrays dot sort i am going to use this inbuilt method so to use this method i need to give a input as a character array character array so i will convert this string into character array by using two char array i'll use this method to convert our strings into character array and then i'll use this character array as input to arrays dot sort and we'll get a sorted character array so let me you create character array it says c1 c1 is s1 dot 2 char array now we'll create one more character array for s2 note that the c and a are uppercase okay now we have character array of our both strings next step is we'll check if both of their length is same if their lengths are not same we will simply say that they are not anagram and we'll just finish the program over there so if c1 dot length is not equal to c2 dot length i'll just print that they are not anagram and i'll exit the program so if both of their lengths are not same it will simply mean that they cannot be anagram and then we are terminating the program over here so what if their lengths are same we will come to this part of the program here we will sort and then check if both of the sorted values are same if they are same it means it is anagram so let's write the pro uh, logic over here so i'll use arrays dot sort i'll give c1 as input now the c1 will be sorted in ascending order now i'll sort c2 now c1 and c2 are sorted now i'm going to use a for loop to check every character is a match or not okay i'll compare this index number 0th element with index number 0th element of the other string element at first index with element at first index element at second index with element at second index so we'll keep on going and if all of them are same it is anagram so let's write a for loop say for int i equal to 0 till i less than let's say c1 dot length since both their length are same we are going to use c either c1 or c2 now inside the for loop i will check if c1 of i and c2 of i if they are not equal if there is some clash over here if they are equal we will keep on proceeding if they are not equal we will print that it is not anagram so i am checking for the not condition here if they are not equal I will print that it is not anagram and I will exit the program over here. So now if the lengths do not match it is not anagram. If any of the element corresponding to the same index number in both the string does not match again it is not anagram. So whenever they are not anagram it is just going to exit the program over here. It will either exit the program over here or it will exit the program over here. If it does not exit in either of this location, 
then it is going to come to this line of the code if it comes till that line of the program it means it is anagram so we are simply going to print it is anagram try to understand why i am simply putting this statement over here because whenever it is not anagram it is simply going to terminate the program over here or here if it is not getting terminated in any of these locations it means it is an anagram and it will come to this line for execution and here we are printing that it is anagram so let me just finish the program if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you